Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining us today and thank you to Kate and your fabulous team for putting on such an awesome event. We are so excited to be here. I'm Kendra Krebs with Art Impressions and I'm super excited to show you some of our brand new watercolor 2021 releases. Um, but first, before I get into that, I want to tell you a little bit about our show special. So we've got a good one for you. It's 25% off the entire website with code VOLUMEFUN21. And um, that is 25% off all regular priced items and a, just a couple more exciting things we have to offer. If you purchase $30, you're going to get a limited edition 2021 freebie stamp. And then if you purchase $50, you're going to get that stamp and free shipping. So if you are thinking about watercolor and you have been watching us for however long, weeks, months, years, this is a really great time to jump in and give AI watercolor a try, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and flip the camera and I'm going to show you all of our brand new watercolor releases for 2021 and some inspiration to go along with them. So let's see them. Okay, so to kick us off, we are gonna talk about the Art Impressions watercolor foundations. And these are just what they sound like. They're foundation sets. So they are, if you can see this right in here, they are um, sets that have the structure of your composition um, ready to go. So you can take this stamp and make the um, composition your own. You can choose the flowers and the foliage and the colors and um, you could put a critter in here or two and these are just so so much fun and um, so we've got four different uh, sets of this one. So this is the watercolor foundations door and you can see it's got the door back here and a few little pots that you can fill in. Um, I want to, I want you to take note of the inspiration on the front of these packages. So no matter which set you get, you are going to have something inspiring on the front of the package that you can look to if you need help with shading or highlights, color composition, all of that good stuff. So this first one is the foundation's door. It is so cute. I have a sample right here. And just a side note, all of the samples that I show you, they have a video on Facebook. So if you go search the archives, you are going to absolutely be able to find this tutorial. Okay, so all of the ones I show you, you can find this on the Art Impressions Rubber Stamps Facebook and those videos will be waiting for you. Okay, so definitely make sure to check this out. Um, check those videos out after this presentation. Okay, so this is the foundation's door. Then we have the watercolor foundation's chairs and you can see the structure of the chairs is there, the foundation of the composition, but you fill in all of the little pots and everything. So you do all of the colors and all the foliage and all of the flowers, okay? The next one is the watercolor foundations wood table. And on here, you see you got your little wood table and then your pots and your little watering can on here, um, just to, waiting for you to fill in, okay? And then lastly, we have the watercolor foundations um, potting bench. And that is gonna be the bench with all the pots and the watering can and the little birdhouse. Now, I wanna mention these foundations are just one stamp. So there's not a whole bunch of stamps in here um, that you put together. This whole thing is one stamp. And I do want to just quickly show you how this stamp works. So these come on, uh, uh, they're clear polymer stamps. And I want to show you with this little image right here that comes in the packaging. So right in this outline, you can see how this stamp works. So the stamp were to be stamped down and then all of these little foliage um, and flowers were filled in afterwards. So this is the original stamp. It is just one stamp for the foundations. These are so cute. Definitely check out the videos on those. 
All right, so the next up is the watercolor pond set. How cute are these? You've got your little duck couple here, um, some aquatic plants, your cattails, uh, your lily pads, and a little, um, a little floral here. This is so cute. And wait until you see the inspiration. How beautiful is this? Again, tutorial on the Art Impressions Facebook page. Make sure to check that out. You will be walked through step by step how to make this. This is SKU number 5424 and it's the watercolor pond set. Again, you've got your inspiration right here on front. Okay, the next one I wanna show you is the watercolor simple scenes. And the first one is the watercolor simple scene lake. And you can see how just gorgeous this lake is. These are meant to, um, just like the foundation, sort of set the tone for your landscape composition. So with the foundations, you're up close. With the simple scenes, these are set back in the distance. So these are just so fun to get started with. Again, uh, another simple scene here, the watercolor simple scene, Rocky River. And you can just see, you can almost hear that stream flowing through. It's just beautiful. That one is 5431, the skew. And then I wanted to show you the watercolor silhouette skaters, number 5429, because I'm gonna show you the inspiration projects right now, and we use these little skaters. So these are so much fun, and you'll see why they work so well in these compositions. So this is the Simple Scene uh, Lake. Okay, so obviously this is frozen over. This is a winter um, scene, and We've got the simple scene stamp right here. Again, this tutorial is on Facebook, so make sure to check it out. And then we have our little skater couple right in the center. How beautiful is this? Just gorgeous. And then the Rocky River simple scene, absolutely beautiful. You have your breathtaking mountains in the background. Um, your little structure here that's just built right on the edge of the stream and um, again these rocks just give it that really rustic appearance this would be a great um, masculine card father's day card and um, absolutely beautiful again check out the tutorial on this one okay we are moving on are you getting excited are you loving all these what do you think let us know in the comments Okay, so the next one is going to be the Watercolor Silhouette Deer. This is 5427, and you've got all these gorgeous deer. You, we have the male with the antlers, the doe, the fawns, um, just a deer for any, any scene, really. Look how gorgeous that one is. Again, you've got the inspiration on the front, and let me just show you this one. It's so simple, but it's really effective. It's really, really strong, the composition, but there's only just a few stamps in here. Check out the tutorial of this one. It's just gorgeous. And while we're here, I wanna show you the watercolor silhouette horses. How majestic are these guys? You have got to add this to your next simple scene or watercolor landscape. These are just beautiful. Watercolor Silhouette Horses, 5428. All right, moving right along. And the next one in the group is the Watercolor Peeking Animals. How cute are these critters? Now, you guys ask for critters all the time, and so we wanted to deliver, and I think we did. This is just so cute. You've got your squirrel, your raccoon, your bunny, your owl, and your mouse. This is Watercolor Peeking Animals, 5425 is the skew on that one. And then the Watercolor Veggies, how darling are these? A lot of you remember the veggie cart. Well, this is just an upgraded version of those veggies, much easier to color and more fun because you can add so many more color blending um, options into there. And how adorable is this little tomato? I just can't. He's so cute. And of course, if you want to make those fall wreaths, definitely get these. 
these little pumpkins are just so cute and I want to show you some of the inspiration for these ones okay so the first one is this little adorable fall harvest um, little composition with the squirrel and the owl and um, definitely check out this tutorial this is so cute this is this is a tutorial that has a lot to it so definitely look this one up this is a long one and I'm pretty sure there's two or three compositions in that and then also the little fall jack-o-lanterns here this could be Halloween or fall so fun definitely um, check this tutorial out this is a recent one so Make sure to go check that out. And then also, how cute is this little harvest scene? You can see the veggies in here and the pumpkins. This little pail we're gonna see very soon. All right, so next we have the watercolor rock set. Now you guys have been asking for more landscape stamps. The rocks um, are a huge part of that. And you can see all the different orientations of these rocks would just fit in any landscape. So absolutely check these out. Rocks are really fun to color too. You can get a lot of different shades and varieties of rocks. Um, this is a definite must have. These, this skew is 5415 watercolor rock sets. And we also have a watercolor small rock sets. These are so cute, very similar to the large ones, but will fit in a smaller scale. And a lot of times I'm like, I need some rocks for this little stream or this pond. And now I just grab for the watercolor rocks set. So this is our inspiration for the rocks. And right here, they just, they go right in the front right there and they add so much to this composition. Also, this tutorial is on Facebook, Art Impressions page, make sure to check that out, okay? And then our little watercolor vintage car set. I love this set. This is so cute. Again, great Father's Day card um, or even a birthday for a little girl or a little boy who's interested in vehicles. Um, you know, this classic car is just such a beauty. And then you get the two fences and then there's that pail that we saw in the um, harvest inspiration. Again, you've got this inspiration on the front of your packaging that you can refer back to anytime. Here is the tutorial inspiration. How cute is this? So you've got the little ducks, which we saw, and this little guy is just parked right on the edge of this lake. You just wonder what happened in that car before the occupants left and abandoned it right by the lake. So definitely check this one out. This is so cute. I wonder if the carburetor went out. So check out that one. I love it. I love that one. All right, next we are going to look at a couple Bible journaling sets. This one is um, the Bible Icon Set 1, number 5419. If you have been waiting for Bible journaling sets to come out, these ones are for you. And you know what? These, these Bible journaling sets can be used across the board with the other watercolors, um, however you want to, in a card, in a scrapbook, in a journal. Um, these do not have to be stamped in the Bible, although they are just beautiful in the Bible. So you've got all these little icons, the two birds, the Bible with the candle. Um, and if you don't want this to be a Bible, you just mask out the cross and it can be a journal or any other Bible. You could write words in here or, or any other book, I should say. Um, and then you've got the beautiful fruit bowl here. Again, we have more sentiments. Uh, you guys love sentiments and request them all the time. So here is a beautiful set um, to go with all of your Bible journaling stamps. Hallelujah, be still and know that I am God. You are the apple of his eye. Joy comes in the morning. Delight in the Lord are just a few. Uh, SKU number 5417. Again, all of these are gonna be 25% off right now, you guys. So definitely check out the website. Here is the inspiration tutorial. So definitely check that one out as well. 
All right, and the final inspiration and show and tell is going to be um, one of my favorite sets, 5418 Bible Foliage Set 2. This is just chock full of foliage that you can use in any project. I absolutely love it. Of course, we have the little dots in there, which are my personal favorite, but these little ferns and these foliage, the ivy is just to die for, so you'll have to check that out. The Frameworks set one is so cute. You've got all these little frames that can be made into wreaths. Um, if you didn't notice, this little guy, the little frame here is part of this set and it is just so cute, so versatile. So you'll have to check this one out too. Um, here is another one of the um, tutorials in that uh, last one I showed you with the little critters. So definitely check out this one. Here is some more of the frameworks. Gorgeous, gorgeous um, compositions here. You could put anything in the center. You could put an encouragement. You could put a photo if you want to. You could um, cut it out and open it up to the center of the card. Here's a little wreath with the new foliage. Gorgeous, there's the dots. Look how much those add to this. Just beautiful, more frames here. And oh, here is a really fun um, Halloween spooky wreath with uh, some of the new foliage in here. This is really, really fun. You should check that out on Facebook. And again, um, using some of the new foliage, we have our little heart wreath here as well. So with that being said, let's do a little tutorial. Okay, so I want to show you guys a really cute fall wreath and the things that I'm going to be using for this little project are um, the pumpkin in watercolor veggie set, the really beautiful wooden frame here from the frameworks set one, the little dots from the bible foliage set two, just the very top of this little lamp post from the column set. This is column set 5270. And I'm also gonna use just this little branch from watercolor branches set. And also just that little vine from the foliage set one. Okay, so I have already pre-stamped a few things just for the sake of time. So the really beautiful um, interwoven uh, wreath here, I've stamped with the 969 brown and the 177 green, and I just mixed those two. And then these are both in the 969 brown, as is the top of the lamppost. And I just wanted to quickly show you, I just inked the top of this lamppost and stamped it right down in the center. So let's go ahead and get started here. This is such a fun project if you're looking for some harvest or Halloween cards this year. So I'm going to take my brush and just begin to pull out the color from the lines. Now don't be too careful here. We just want to pull these out. We're kind of coloring the negative space, okay? So we really want this uh, branch to look white or lighter and so we're actually coloring around it to make that white pop okay so as I just bring out some of this color I'm going to move right around the edges here all the way around now don't be too too careful here it's it's okay if you get some color in areas that you didn't intend um, this is meant to be really loose appearing and so maybe your little oopsie might add um, some character to your watercolor. If you are brand new to watercolor, I want to um, make sure that you know about the Back to Basics every Tuesday night at 5 p.m. PST on Facebook. I go live and I answer really common questions and put together a really fun, simple tutorial now, a lot of people will go if they're brand new to art impressions, but a lot of people who are seasoned watercolorists will also have fun learning a thing or two during Back to Basics. And you can also check out 
Bonnie Krebs on Wednesday mornings for Watercolor Wednesday and she's got a project that's a little bit more advanced, I would say intermediate to advanced, and um, she will show you a lot of different uh, ways to use these stamps for um, to just maximize the versatility. All right, so I'm just pulling out some of this color here and in our little pumpkins, just gonna pull out a little bit of this color. We are going to color them um, really beautiful orange and yellow, but I do wanna kind of start with this very simple shadow. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Art Impressions palette and I am going to begin to color our little pumpkins. So this is going to be 993. So 993, and I am going to color that right into our pumpkins. Very, very simple. I'm not gonna overthink this. Just gonna get that color in. Okay, a little bit of orange. So 933. I am going to put this into the edges. Now, notice I'm leaving a little bit of highlight in the center. We do that on anything that appears round. Okay, and then just a little bit of the 969 into the stems. Okay, so a little bit of that 969 right into the stems here. And then we are gonna go straight into some foliage. Now these are really beautiful fall colors that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna take my vine and that same 933 and I'm gonna ink that and just put a couple of these really cute vines right next to the pumpkins. All right, and then a little bit of the yellow same vine. I'm going to do that right next to the pumpkin and maybe one in between. Okay, so now I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to dab these, dab, dab, dab all around here. Just like that. And I wanna take a little bit of that 993, that first yellow color we used, and put in just a little bit of yellow into this lamp post. Now I wanna take my twin tone, this really cute brown twin tone. It has a very, very sharp tip, a very fine tip. And I want to add in a little bit of detail into the lamp post here. So I'm gonna just take that and maybe I'll put a little bit at the bottom and just bring back some of the lines that disappeared a little bit when we added our water. All right, so let's make sure this is hanging. So I'm gonna take my ruler and we're going to just Hang this little guy right from the top there. I also like to take this little tip and just darken some of the areas um, inside of this little braided wreath because it gives it some depth that we would otherwise be kind of missing. So it doesn't have to be every opening, but some of them I think is really, really nice. Okay, so now we are going to take that same little Tombow and we're gonna put little faces on our pumpkins. So these are just gonna be little faces and they're gonna just smile at each other. And we can have like a missing tooth or a bunch of missing teeth here. <laughs> They're just happy little guys. And then we'll do another one. And maybe he's just got like a little smile. Just like that. And 
We're just gonna put a couple little branches in here, just like so. We'll ink that with the 969, and then do a couple on this side. Now hopefully we'll get a chance to put a little spider web in here. So I'm gonna use the Micron Black, and I'm going to make a little focal point right here, and I'm just going to anchor out a couple spots for this little web. Now I want to connect these, and so we wanna put a little bit of a curve in here just to give the illusion that this silk is being pulled to the center. So we want to attach anchor to anchor using these really cute little curves. And just like that, and then we'll do one more long one, just like so. Okay, so we have our little spider web in here. Let's put a background color in for our sky, and then we are almost done with this really cute Halloween fall harvest little project. So 565, and I'm gonna take that color and just take a wet brush and start dropping that into the background. Now the nice thing about these Micron markers is that they are waterproof. So I can go right over that Micron spider web and put in my sky right behind it. And it's not gonna disturb the color at all, which is so nice. So for the spider webs, I generally do put these in before I do the sky, but because it's waterproof, you really have a lot of options. You can do it before or after. Okay, I'm just grabbing a little bit more of that color and just dispersing it out here. Does not need to be perfect, okay? So now I am going to go ahead and put just a couple little dots in here. These are so cute. This is from that watercolor um, foliage set two that I showed you. I like to stamp this off once or twice just to get um, a variation of hues in here or um, values. So we'll stamp it off once again and we'll just get these. Look how much these little dots add to the final project. I just love it. It's so cute. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining. I am so excited to have been able to share this with you. Make sure you check out our website for 25% off for the show special, Volume Fun 21. Definitely check that out. This is the time if you've been thinking, should I start AI watercolor? The answer is yes, this is a great time. And make sure again, check out the tutorials on our Facebook page. Um, Tuesday night, back to basics, Wednesday morning, watercolor Wednesday, Instagram, Facebook, we are all over the place and we would just love to have you join. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you have a great rest of the time. Enjoy the 